Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Before we get into the video, make sure to subscribe to my channel and turn post notifications on. This video is going to be all about how to make weapons again. This is going to be a part two. Uh, I'm going to have my keybinds in the bottom right as well, so uh, just keep looking at them if you're confused at any point in the, during this video. And yeah, let's get straight into the video. Before I get into the video though, if you guys want to be a part of the community, feel free to join um, my Discord server. We're currently at 240 members. If you want to throw in some suggestions or you know uh, show off your creations, feel free to join. Link is in the description. So before you get started, the first thing you want to do is find your reference image. So I've got mine. Make sure to drag it uh, as centered as possible, like so, and go ahead and resize it however big you want. And if it's at an angle, make sure to um, rotate it so it's roughly centered. It makes life easier when modeling now the next thing I'll do is I'll pull the reference image back so it's not in the way when I'm looking at, um, at my uh, object from a different angle and then I'm gonna go ahead and add mesh plane I'm gonna kind of rotate it so I can look at it this way now I'm gonna press tab to go into edit mode uh, one to uh, select vertices and I'm going to go into wireframe mode and delete these vertices so I only have one vertex this kind of gives you freedom to um, kind of trace the uh, model a lot easier so you simply just extrude and you kind of just extrude around the blade like so you can obviously use a cube as well but I tend to use a vertex because I get more freedom so with this first step basically all you want to do is you want to trace the outline of the blade I'm gonna go ahead and speed through this um, for the sake of keeping the video shorter Okay, so once you have a rough outline, you want to go ahead and kind of um, start adding in the faces. So I'm going to go ahead and click on my background image, press H to hide it. So now I kind of have freedom here. And I can see better. So basically what you want to do is you want to add a vertice on the other side and then kind of um, line them up so they, um, so they line up perfectly. Now you can press Ctrl R to add a little vertex here and then you can kind of, if you add a vertex, you can kind of just select two of them, press F and then they link together like so. And I also double tap G to move the vertex along the edge. I'm going to go ahead and speed up through this process as well. So now once you've put all the edges in, you want to go ahead and, and turn them into faces. So I'm going to press 2 to select edges and I'm going to kind of select these edges and just press F and it will fill them in. It sometimes may not fill them in so you might want to just manually select the, uh, the edges. Usually it doesn't work when you've kind of got like uh, this odd shape going off to the side. As you can see, once you've done that, you've practically got an exact replica of the actual blade reference that you've uh, found, but except it's flat. So the first thing you want to do is you could either extrude it like this, um, which kind of works, or you can add a uh, solidify modifier, turn the offset to zero, and then change the thickness to whatever you want. So you can go 
I've got a decent sized blade here. Now you might encounter some issues, um, but that's an easy fix. If you switch from mode from simple to complex, it should fix it. Okay, since we're making a sword, we, we always want the edges to be sharp. You should never really have them flat or else it looks kind of... Well, it doesn't look like a sword really. So to do that, you do Control R and add a loop cut down the middle. And now you can simply press S and then X or S and Y and scale on a certain axis and you kind of have your your blade now obviously um, usually I pull out the uh, vertices individually because it gives um, more uh, more freedom when you're modeling and stuff like that but since I'm doing this for a video I'm just gonna rush through it really but um, a quick example is like I'd literally just pull out this vertice and kind of just line them up like this instead of kind of scaling it but obviously if you're just trying to make some quick models you know you could just scale it like I just did once you're kind of satisfied with your blade or whatever you want to go ahead and get your reference back so you can press alt and H to bring it back or you can just select this little eye here and now the next thing you want to do is obviously model the handle now instead of bringing in a plane when there's something like a, a cylinder shape just bring in an actual cylinder instead of using a plane and just lower the amount of vertices down to 8 for example and then all you want to do is same method really but just follow um, follow the uh, shape of the handle so I go into edit mode select faces and then kind of just extrude the uh, the handle out like so now from from the reference image I'm using you can see the blade kind of wraps around um, the actual handle here so instead of actually continuing from the actual blade, I'm just going to make a another cylinder here. So this helps by being observant on your actual reference image because you can clearly tell this is a cylinder that's wrapping it around the handle. So you just, I'm just going to make a um, a cylinder and just kind of wrap it around, just like the reference image does. I'm going to leave the handle um, as it is like this. You can add extra details if, you, if you'd if you like, but I'm going to go for just like the basic uh, overall model. And then you want to go ahead and add the extra small details if you want, like the, the little spikes and stuff. What I usually do is I go mesh uh, or add mesh cylinder and I'll just flip it around. And then kind of do the same method as like the handle. Like so. And then I'll just bring it down to here. This has a little bit of a curve on it, so I'll just curve it. And then I'm just going to go ahead and copy and paste this. And put it on the actual blade. I'm not going to really do this little detail because I feel like it's probably going to take me a little bit too long. Um, but basically this is the main concept of how I kind of make weapons. This is like a really basic version though. You know, I go in and add loads of more details afterwards. But um, also the last thing I want to show you is a lot of people miss this. I'm going to head, go ahead and join these real quick just to show this off. But if you select your whole object and then shade it smooth for starters they look nicer smooth and when you texture them it comes out uh, nicer but also if you go into I believe it's there you go object data properties and then go to normals and then auto smooth 
it kind of um, smooths out rough uh, edges and stuff like that to make your object look nicer and smoother while still keeping kind of like the flat shade look so I really recommend you guys use that um, it makes your models usually look a lot nicer other than that I hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to subscribe to my channel and turn post notifications on and I'll see you in the next one peace